Hey everyone, are you a business owner looking to elevate your financial strategy? Today we're diving deep into the Inc. Business Preferred Credit Card by Chase. But here's the question. Is this the ultimate card for your business? Let's find out. First off, this card comes with a massive 100,000 bonus points after you spend $8,000 on purchases in the first three months from account opening. That's equivalent to $1,250 towards travel when redeemed through Chase Ultimate Rewards. Imagine what that could do for your business. With this card, you can earn three points per dollar on your first $150,000 spent on travel in select business categories each account anniversary year and for all other purchases you're still earning one point per dollar that's earning potential on every dollar you spend wondering about credit score requirements well typically a good to excellent credit score is needed and that's usually with a 700 credit score usually being a solid starting point but the perks don't just stop at points this credit card offers trip cancellations and interruption insurance, extended warranty protection, and cell phone protection. Plus, employee credit cards come at no additional cost, helping you manage your business spending more effectively. Now let's talk numbers. The card does come with a $95 annual fee and the APR ranges from 20.99% to 25.99% variable based on credit worthiness. It's important to weigh these costs against the benefits. Like all cards, the Inc. Business Preferred has its pros and cons. It offers a low annual fee for a business car and has an impressive welcome bonus. However, the welcome bonus has a high spending requirement in a short time frame. And the bonus categories reward points is capped at $150,000 in a combined purchases per year. Now, experts do rate this card highly, especially for businesses with high budgets and predictable expenses. It does stand strong against competitors, particularly for those who travel frequently. But for businesses with smaller budget, the annual fee and specific bonus category might be a drawback. Now let's hear from a customer. This business customer says we own an Airbnb and pretty much everything I put on this card is a great write-off. Advertising, cell phones, car rentals, I use it all for my business travel. But before you jump off this video and hit apply, Let's take a moment to dive into the fine print because I've read it for you so you wouldn't have to. Here are all their major points that stuck out to me. New card member bonus eligibility. Now this says the new card member bonus is only available if you do not have this card and have not received a new card member bonus for this card in the past 24 months. Now this is really crucial folks. Chase is pretty strict with their bonuses so you need to make sure you're eligible before you apply to this specific credit card. A popular question that many interested business owners have was about whether Chase runs your personal credit score to qualify for this card. The answer is yes. Small business credit cards from major issuers, including Chase, do pull your personal credit. If you apply by social security number only, it's unclear if you actually build business credit. But if you apply with your EIN, you should be able to build business credit with some of the business reporting agencies. Even with the EIN, your social security will still need to be on the application. Now, another great question you might wanna know is what happens if you don't have any Chase credit cards? Can you still earn points or do you have to settle for the cash back? Now, all Chase, Freedom, Sapphire, and Ink cards do earn ultimate reward points, not regular cash back. And you can also combine points from all of these cards, although the Ink Premier has some exceptions. Now let's talk about application frequencies in multiple credit cards. How often can you apply? And if you max out one, can you get another one? Per the terms, the new card member bonus offer is only available if I do not have this card and have not received a card member bonus for this card in the past 24 months. Now, is this a part of the 524 rule? In most cases, you'll need to be below 524 in order to get approved. However, if approved, it will not increase your 524 account. Now let's talk about the reconsideration line. 
Always call the reconsideration line if you've been declined. Call them if you've been declined. Please do. If you don't know if you can actually have your application overturned unless you try. So I will have that reconsideration phone number line in the description below. Just call up and ask what's the reason for the denial. It, it could be something as easy as fixing an incorrect address or it could even be something as they, they may need business documents to support your application. The worst they could say is no. So there you have it folks. This is a fantastic offer but as with all financial decisions, it's important to read the fine print and understand the terms before you jump in. If you found this video helpful and think it could benefit others, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. We are almost to 100,000 credit cousins and I will greatly appreciate the support to reaching that goal. And turn on the notifications as well. Also check out the links down below in the description to learn more about this credit card. Also other varieties of business and personal credit cards as well. Thank you for watching today's video i hope it brought you some great value i look forward to seeing you in the next one and of course if you decide to apply for this credit card and get approved let me know down in the comment section to make me jealous because again this is such a great offer i'll see you guys in the next video and while you're waiting for it to be uploaded always remember you are great bye